to reinstate Jamel Hill. That is the substance of a letter sent to ESPN by a group of black women who are standing with Jamel Hill. Uh, here is that letter. It was sent by the Black Women's Roundtable. We are riding in Jamel's Hill on Jamel's behalf regarding the current controversy about her tweets about President Trump and Jerry Jones and her recent two-week suspension from ESPN. Initially, we were prepared to send ESPN a letter of support for accepting Jamel Hill's apology since we thought you understood Jamel was expressing her personal views over a private medium much the way President Trump does when he tweets about national and international leaders. We thought ESPN was in support, uh, was in support of the right of news commentators to have the opportunity to express their personal opinions under the provisions of the First Amendment in the Constitution of the United States. The letter also says, uh, we encourage ESPN to reverse course immediately from suspension to support of Jamel so that we might be inclined not to withdraw our support of ESPN and its sponsors by encouraging our national networks of viewers to do likewise. Jamel Hill is an outstanding sports reporter who has been with ESPN since 2006 and millions of viewers appreciate her professional sports coverage and regularly tune in to watch her reporting and to support ESPN advertisers. We encourage ESPN to stay in your ground in supporting Jamel and we will stand our ground to support ESPN. Joining us right now is Melanie Campbell, president and CEO of the Black Women's Roundtable. Uh, Melanie, first of all, uh, how many other groups also signed this letter? Um, uh, at least 30, and this is an open letter uh, that we're gonna release today and others will sign on. Um, but with all that's been happening with Jamel, what's happening with uh, Jerry Jones, uh, uh, with the Dallas Cowboys, and, and, the, and the president's constant tweets, and then even the NFL uh, yesterday, with, there seems to be some kind of, uh, in my personal opinion, some kind of conspiracy to really shut down the ability for black people to stand up for issues that are important to us. And so when was it that a, a, a sports commentator couldn't make a comment about an issue that was being discussed in the, in the in the course of sports mm -hmm. and so she had a right to make uh, to, to state what she said she didn't call for a boycott but she does have a right freedom of speech uh, with my, my good friend here uh, um, um, Scott Bolden a lawyer correct me have a right to, to have a, a freedom of speech and so in, 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 in the letter you said that uh, it was over a private medium but well, Twitter isn't private it's a pub it's public medium <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's a publicly traded company right. Right. Uh, and so they said it was in violation of their social media policy mm -hmm. uh, which which was which they they, in their letter said it was uh, that that happened the first time mm -hmm. and this was a repeat well the reality is she, she, she had the right the first time to speak up um, and the question comes uh, if the, the distraction of what it is the issue is about racial injustice in this country and so the conversation about the flag or whether or not she should be able to say all of that is a distraction from the issue and it's incumbent upon all of us who profess ourselves to be leaders whether you are in this uh, locally or to the national level to speak up when we see injustice because when they go after her they're coming for you you or me next and so we have to stand up now or this thing is going is a slippery slope and so uh, in the last 48 hours we, you know we came together uh, black women for positive change reached out to me uh, and asked me if we would partner with them with the black women's roundtable and I reached out to as many people I could get to in, in uh, to know that we, we uh, needed to speak up uh, um, expeditiously and so this letter is an attempt at that and then there'll be others I'm sure who will sign on as well uh, we had a and it's black women and black men we have uh, several brothers who signed on to. Uh, the other day, Reverend Al Sharpton held a news conference exactly. outside Reverend Sharpton's of, of ESPN uh, saying that civil rights leaders are calling for a meeting with ESPN. Uh, has there been any response to that from ESPN to your knowledge? Not to my knowledge, but I haven't talked to him. Uh, let's introduce our panel, A. Scott Bolden, legal analyst and chairman of the National Bar Association PAC, Pastor Shannon Wright, third vice chair of the Maryland GOP, Robert Patillo, attorney and host of CBS Radio Atlanta. So ESPN says she violated, violated their social media policy uh, with comments on Twitter. Uh, she did not call for a boycott. Mm -hmm. uh, someone tweeted her, and then so she simply uh, responded as saying, well, you know, you want to hold the players accountable. Uh, what about uh, the advertisers of the Dallas Cowboys? Um, ESPN, within, within their rights uh, to suspend her for these comments after they said this was the second infraction? Absolutely. You know, you and I got into this a few weeks ago about whether you could be fired or suspended for violating for a company or for expressing, rather, your First Amendment. And I said to you then, and I'll say 
say to you now that you cannot be suspended or fired for exercising your First Amendment. However, your contract, her contract says otherwise, and if she violates that, and she chose to violate that not once but twice, then they can't suspend her. It's their discretion, if you will. I agree with everything Melanie says. I agree with the letter and what have you, because Trump's narrative has caused this confusion or this murkiness, because we're all making political statements now because of his negative narrative and his presidency. That being said, though, she contracted that right away. ESPN is within their right to do it. They held off the first time. The second time, this was really purposeful and intentional, and it may be her stand, if you will. But at the same time, the real issue is, does she come back in two weeks? Does she file a lawsuit? Or does she go on because of this political statement that she wants to take on a political agenda as opposed to a sports agenda? Robert, you're an attorney. Your legal assessment. Well, uh, under contract law, the ESPN absolutely has the right to suspend her for violation of her contract. However, there's a difference between a legal right and doing the right thing. I think that all people of good conscience boycott ESPN until such time as they allow their anchors to have equal free speech rights. Bill, or Donald Trump should not be allowed to bully people, to bully networks, to bully people out of their free speech, out of their ability to articulate their own uh, views and their own opinions. Right now, Jamel Hill's held to a higher standard than the President of the United States of America. She can be suspended, censured, fired for her uh, exercise on Twitter. Donald Trump can start World War III um, with a tweet, and nobody can say anything about it. Shannon, what, what is interesting here is that when, when you look at um, what she tweeted, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to understand, folks, if we have the tweet, can you pull it up, please? I'm just trying to understand exactly what did they find offensive. Because well, it, 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 in the tweet, she did not call for a boycott. This is what she tweeted. Um, this play always works. Change happens when advertisers are impacted. If you feel strongly about JJ's statement, boycott his advertisers. Now, let's keep in mind, the, NF the ESPN is in bed with the NFL. They are a partner of the NFL. So, by I, I, was, I was opposed by suggesting boycott his advertisers his advertisers are ESPN's advertisers right. because they are in partnership with the league. Right. What she said was true. I mean, if you, if you do certain things, you will affect folks' pocketbook and they will pay attention. So personally, I think there are a lot more offensive things being said all around on all sides of the aisle and everywhere else than that. I don't find offense with it. I think the only issue is, does it violate a contract that she signed? Um, well, no, but, but the question then is, what does it actually violate? I mean, what, because, because it, is it, you can't, so, I mean, again, all the personalities tweet a lot of stuff. True. I'm just trying to understand what does it actually violate? I don't think what she said well, was offensive or incorrect in that she said it. I, having not seen her contract, I can't say what it violated. I know it's being said that what she did violated her contract. What? However, if you are in a position to have a voice, in my thought, you are obligated then to voice what you feel is correct and to, to use that voice in that platform. But, but the, well, and, and remember, other, other folks have been suspended. Right. Uh, Stephen A. Smith was suspended for some comments. Uh, Bill Simmons, uh, who was white, was suspended for some comments. So it's not like Kurt Schilling was suspended exactly. uh, and was later fired. So they had other but folks. In the context of all the things that are happening, this is where we have a concern. <clears throat> what's happening with Jamil Hill, what's happening with Colin Kaepernick, what, 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 what Jerry Jones said the other day, all of these, what, what uh, Rod, Roger Goodell said yesterday right all of these things are connected and so we have to speak up and challenge what's happening because this is really about shutting down the ability to deal with the issue of racial injustice in this country and the killing of black and brown people in this country and so so and so that no one's talking about that it's all about uh, the NFL and and, and 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 the flag and the this and that I was in Florida just the other day look in Florida what's going on the KKK just came out uh, with flyers in, in Jacksonville and Orlando so, so telling folks that if a black man looks at a white woman, you know, th th they're going to get killed. There's a lot of, mm -hmm. of, of, of hatred and, and, and visceral, visceral things going on in this country, and it is connected. And so we have well, to stand up. But J Jamil Hill me. is an example of that. Oh, and what, I understand what? there's legal things, but <laughs> the bottom line is, the bottom line is it's all connected, and we need to stand up Well, for it her. certainly is. But, but what's different about this is, 
is that that the white supremacy and in in white privilege is manifesting itself outwardly, publicly, yes. that it's become a comfortable space for those who believe or who would tolerate that. With Jamel Hill, you're right, this narrative is being caught up in these other things, but I gotta tell you, the provision of her contract that says you cannot make political statements on a public medium uh, that would affect this network. Remember, she's a journalist, right? Mm -hmm. She's suggesting, more than suggesting in her tweet, that, that, that somehow a, a team that she covers as an independent journalist, if you will, that perhaps they should be boycotted no, if they no, just no, 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 wait, 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 one second, wait, 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 one second, talking no, no, wait, wait, one second, okay, let, let me, no, 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 let, let me correct you, first of all, journalist is an umbrella term. She mm -hmm. is a journalist, but she is paid to have a subjective point of view. So, no, 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 she, right, no, no, she gives her opinion. So, so she is not like mm -hmm. uh, reporters they have there who cover the teams who do not have the leeway to give opinion. She is paid to give her opinion. Okay, the sports, but not on the, Twitter. No, and not no, about some political no, yeah, actually, issue no, that's, the team's that's, bottom that's, line. That's not true. That violates her that's, contract. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, no, hold on, no, no, no. Let, let me, let, let me, let me, let me correct you again, uh, uh, Scott. Yeah. You can be the attorney all day, but they have multiple individuals, mm -hmm. and we can pull them up. Mm -hmm. Mike Wilbon, Stephen A. Smith, Bamani Jones, Jamel Hill. Ke uh, uh, I can go down. Michael, uh, Michael Smith. They're paid for their No, 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 no. They also are allowed to give their perspectives on social media and in fact and wait a minute and in fact on ES sports and in fact ESPN integrates this and this is sports related okay. this is sports so, 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 so it's no, there. No, 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 this no. is sports related the no, 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 no. Is not related pull the tweet to up again it's related this to is the what, money and the this bottom this is what line. she said this and their is partnership, this you is get a reaction I'm this sorry. is sports oh, no no I know they're going to get a reaction, but my point is, let's not act like she can't give her opinion when she's paid to give her opinion. She can't Robert, give go that opinion. Look, Robert, go ahead. Robert, go ahead. Exactly. Remember, Robert, go ahead. This is part and parcel of what happens to African Americans in this country. Jamel Hill and Michael Smith were put on the Six O'Clock Sports Center in order to spice it up, to bring more attention, to talk not just about sports, but pop culture, entertainment, politics, to bring a, breathe life back into that uh, into that part of the Sports Center franchise. And then as the soon network. as they do that, <laughs> as soon as they as soon as they do a Exactly what they paid them to do. If it crosses that line into upsetting or making white people uncomfortable, then you have to immediately punish them. It's just like we make uh, put Elvis in the face of rock and roll instead of Bo Diddley because they don't want that much blackness in there. They just want enough to spice it up, but not enough to upset the apple cart. Well, Melody, go ahead. Uh, bottom line, I love you, my my classmate. <laughs> like, I think you're wrong. I'm, I'm gonna go get my law degree, <laughs> like, just to prove you wrong. But the bottom line well, is, we have to stand up. Already. We have well, to stand up. We, we ain't right. gotta go get law degree to get law degree right. to right. prove right. Scott wrong. That's easy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the brother sitting at home proving Scott wrong. wrong. But, 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 but the bottom wrong. line is, <laughs> if we don't speak up now, mm -hmm. and 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 really for her, for Colin, and all Kaepernick, everybody else, then we're not doing our job. I agree. Sir, let us know if ESPN responds. Thanks a bunch. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.